Hey guys, what's up? It's Chevy513 here. Hey, I thought, um, I thought I'd pop open one of my Milwaukee M18 extended capacity 5 amp batteries. And I thought you guys might be interested to see what was inside, so I'm making this video. It's only four screws to pop out. They are tamper-proof Torx, two in the front, two in the rear. I've already unscrewed them here, or so I thought. I am not sure what size they are. Let me see here if it says on this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure what size, but uh, just wiggle that there and the top comes off. And then just got your spring loaded deals in there, your push button there, if you can see it. And of course, that pushes to light up the. charge indicator and I will just wiggle this out and you can see the five cells and since it's a 5 amp battery and not a compact battery it has two rows of cells now this is just something that I've heard is that a lot of manufacturers will just glue contacts um, or epoxy them or you know just do them really really crappy and with the Milwaukee here you can see they're using real metal contacts which I think is nice. And I don't think you can, maybe you can catch it on the camera a little, that little bit of shimmer there. Like they've sprayed something over the circuit board to help protect it against, uh, you know, water and dust. And then, I'm not sure about these large plates that come up here, but I believe they're probably heat sinks. And I also believe where these ridges are is a heat sink because the way it goes into the case, you have a big air gap behind these ridges. So I believe that's a heat sink and that air gap helps dissipate heat as well. So I'm not going to pretend to know about amperage and all that stuff. But um, the one thing I do know is because it's a 5 amp battery, it does have two rows of cells. And um, just a minute here, let me pause this. Okay, here we go. We're going to do a little testing here. Now, honestly, I don't really know how the heck to run this electrical meter. But from what I can gather... It is saying there that I'm getting 12 amps. Now, if somebody could explain in the comments to me why that is, um, I'm wondering if that's because there's two rows of cells and they're 5 amps each and they're not under load, so they're putting out a little more amps, say 6 amps. And another thing that kind of stumped me here if I can get it to go is okay here we go 
We're running 20 volts, you can see. That dang thing. Okay. Running 20 volts, 20 volts max. You know, that's why they say max, because it's uh, not under load. Are you serious? Yet, when I do put this under load, if I can get it, you can see I'm still getting 20 volts instead of 18, which really surprised me. I thought once I put it under load that I would only be getting 18 volts. So, anyways, that's just kind of a look at the 5 amp battery taken apart. Um, I'm not going to take it any further apart, you know, because that would definitely screw up my battery. So, any comments or um, insight on this would be appreciated. Um, Especially as to the amperage, um, I don't know if I'm running the meter wrong or what's going on that it's reading 12. So uh, if anybody has any insight on this, please um, uh, mention it in the comments. I would, I would appreciate that. So anyways, hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and... If uh, you like tour reviews and things like that, subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. And as always, have a great day, guys.